hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button in today's video i'm going to be comparing and reviewing these two lip masks one is the tatcha the kisu lip mask and the other is the laneige lip sleeping mask so yeah well, let's get into it so i've been using both of these masks um since the start of this year and i think i've um, figured out my opinion on them both and I've been comparing them and yeah I it was a very hard decision to come to but I think I have a winner but yeah let's just get into it so the Tatcha lip mask you can get from Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca website Mecca Maxima whatever um, and it is $45 and you get nine grams of lip mask. <laughs> the Laneige is from Sephora. Um, it is $28 and you get 20 grams of product. So that information alone, price and size, the Laneige wins. Like um, the Tatcha is twice as expensive and less than half the amount of product than the Laneige. The Laneige is almost $30 and it's more than twice the size of this one, which is $45. Like, if, if it's all about money, pick the Laneige because they are both really good products and I do recommend them both. So, if it's about money and value for your money, the Laneige is definitely the way to go. However, I must say they are two very different list masks despite the fact that they give a very similar result. Um, the Tatcha one is a more of a jelly consistency. However, the Laneige is more of a creamy consistency. Um, they both come with a little spatula, so that's a big plus for both. Um, that you very you need very little product with both of them. However, I do find you do need a little bit more of the Laneige one than you do with the Tatcha. The Tatcha one spreads a little bit further, I believe. Um, just because it is a jelly and it glides onto your lips rather than the Laneige, which is a cream. And it is a good thing. It does start soaking into your lips. They both soak into your lips. That's not the issue. But I feel like it's it's hard to judge. And this, this has been hard for me to judge. I've been using them on and off for, you know, since the start of the year. It's, I'm filming this in June. So it's been a decent almost six months of me using these products. I have put my lips through hell to figure this out, basically. I would let my lips go to absolute shit, like painful, cracked, chapped, horrible. And then I would use a lip mask and see the result. And then I would let them go to shit all over again. And then use the other one and see the result. And then I'd go and let them go to shit again and then use the, well, the first one again. And it was just back and forth, back and forth, letting my lips go to shit. Like, it was tough. I really wanted to see how they performed. And I really... <laughs> wanted to compare them and try them interchangeably and it got to a point where I lost track of which one did I use last um but yeah at the end of the day I really do like them both um in terms of how my lips felt at the end of it I do feel like some there were some mornings where I put on slightly less of the Laneige and I woke up and it's like my lips were already dry again and it it was like, oh, I should have put a little bit more on. And I guess that's what helps with having a bigger jar is you do need slightly more product to them with the Tatcha one. The Tatcha one's just more of a gel, so it just kind of glides over to your lips and spreads a little bit easier. Whereas Laneige, you really need to like, it's it's a cream. Well, not like, it's it's more creamy rather than the Tatcha, which is more jelly. Um, so the Laneige... You do need a little bit more and I would, I don't feel like it, it says it's a lip sleeping mask and I have been using these overnight for both of them, but I feel like with this one, it is more of a um, richer lip balm than it would be a mask because even though you want it to soak into your lips, it, it's completely soaked in and that's, it's good. Your lips are getting that moisture, but I don't feel like that's a mask. That is a glorified rich lip balm. Whereas with the Tatcha one, you wake up in the morning and it's still on your lips and you wipe it off like you would a mask and your lips are like perfect underneath. So yes, your lips do become perfect, but they do both lip masks definitely give you the desired effect. 
by healing your lips and making them smooth and plump and you know really really nice and soft but I would consider this a lip balm. I don't think it's a mask consistency. It doesn't feel like I'm putting on a mask. It just feels like I'm loading up on like a balm. It is more balmy than the Tatcha one. So that is the Tatcha box. I have been using, um, I think it was the berry flavor. So that is the jar. And it comes with a little um, spatula, both of them do, which I think is really good, just to save you digging your fingers in there and um, you know stopping contamination. Because if you get germs in there, the product is going to go off. So that's a little spatula as well. I must say, I do prefer the spatula for the Tatcha one. This one is just it's bendy, and it makes it a little bit harder to apply it when it just feels like it's scraping the product off. So that is the inside as you can see I've been slowly digging away in there but you really don't need a lot despite the fact you need a little bit more than the Tatcha one. This product is going to last you a very long time and as you can see what I mean by it's more of a creamy balmy consistency. And then you consider the Tatcha one. I do believe that the Tatcha has one in terms of packaging. Hello, it's Tatcha. Their packaging is always on point. Um, but yeah, it's significantly smaller. And yeah, it's very much a gel. Um, and the spatula is like all the other Tatcha ones. Um, I do believe this just, it, it was easier to apply this lip mask. It, um, you don't need as much of it. So I feel like that these last, the Laneige one probably would last you a little bit longer, but not, it wouldn't be like you would still have half of this when you ran out of this because you do need less. So maybe if you were using them equally at the same time, like I have been, you would have a quarter of this left when you finish this. Like this is equivalent to three quarters instead of half, in my opinion. And based on what my lips needed essentially because I was also, you know, trashing them out to the max to try and see the maximum results from these products. With all of that considered, I really, it was a really hard decision to make. Would I purchase either of these again? I would definitely purchase a lip mask again. I wouldn't buy two all over again. I'd probably just try and get one. Um, but considering the price, I would buy the Laneige one again and not the Tatcha one just because of how expensive the Tatcha one is for what it is. Yes, it's a great product and it works and it does everything it says it is supposed to do, but it's so expensive. It's $45. And if I can get the same results from the Laneige one at $28, I would rather spend $28 than $45. It's a no brainer for most people. Spend less, get the same result. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I prefer the Tatcha one just slightly more. I think it did a little bit better of a job um, with my lips. Who knows? Maybe my lips were slightly not as trashed as they were when I used the Laneige one. But um, I do really like them both. And that is, that's what makes it so hard is trying to pick a winner. So I feel like the winner overall is the Laneige. And it really just came down to price at the end of it because of how similar the results were from the products. Um, I do prefer the Tatcha one just that tiniest bit more just because it's um, a nicer consistency to apply um, whereas the Laneige one it, you do need a little bit more of it it just feels like a really rich lip balm in compared to a mask um, and the Tatcha one did feel more of a mask just because you woke up and there was still a mask on your face like it wasn't like it, it soaked in like a lip balm because it's a mask and not a balm. However, the Laneige one does have that balmy consistency and soaks into your lips like a lip balm would. Um, again, to conclude, both amazing products. If I was to run out of both, which will take a very long time, I will buy the Laneige one again. Um, or if I find another one I want to try out, 
I wouldn't buy the Tarte one again, despite the fact I do think it is a slightly better product. And that all just comes down to price. And that could be different for everyone else if money isn't as big of an object to you as it is to me then maybe you would want the better performing product and you go for the toucher and that is completely fine as well i love both of these products i'd very much recommend both of them as well i really have enjoyed trying them out for the past few months um but maybe i should try using the um Laneige mask with the toucher spatula when i run out of the toucher one but yeah final thoughts love them both Tatcha wins, but I won't buy it again because Laneige is cheaper and I can still get great lips out of it. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, if you guys have tried either of these products, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys think. Like when I went to buy these products for the video, I had people telling me, oh, the Laneige is amazing. You don't need to buy the Tatcha one. I had people tell me, you know, the Laneige is shit. You should try the Tatcha. Um, in it basically it really comes down to um personal choice and how everyone's skin and everyone's lips are different and what i experience may not be what you experience and at the end of the day this is just my experience and it's my personal opinion of the products i really enjoy them both and i'll definitely continue to use them both i just can't justify spending another 45 dollars on the touch lip mask so yeah, I really do recommend them both. You just got to make the decision of which one you're willing to purchase. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If any of you were wondering about the products or you were considering getting any of these products, I highly recommend them both. It's just a matter of how much money you're willing to spend and you know, how badly you really need it. Like your lips might be fine with a normal lip balm. You never know. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up, comment your thoughts in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.